Hello. Hi. Yay. <laughs> Hello and welcome to the stream. I'm Binaro Karo. Or as you, you might also know me as Angie. Today we are going to be streaming more World of Warships. Yay! So, last time we streamed uh, World of Warships, we unlocked our first submarine. Uh, Cachalot. The American submarine Cachalot. Now, I have never played a submarine before, and um, I have no idea how submarines play. <laughs> I've seen them in some games, but I've never actually played them myself, so I don't know what they're like to play, which is going to be interesting. Ooh, we have a permanent, permanent camouflage. But yeah, that is going to be interesting, because... <laughs> I forgot about these extra stuff. Because, uh, yeah, I keep starting sentences and then interrupting myself and then stopping sentences. <laughs> so yeah, this is gonna be an experience because I have never played a submarine before. And I don't know if there's like tutorials or anything for that. I don't think there is. I don't know what brawl and airship escort and anything is. I don't know what operations are. Fighting bots. Huh. That's interesting. Uh. Yeah, I am just gonna stick to PvP. I know, like, not knowing how to play an entire group of ship and then starting with pvp right away feels like a really bad idea but at the same time i feel like it'll give me some real experience with how to play submarines so let's see how that plays out uh all i know about submarines is that you're supposed to use sonar to detect where your targets are and then you're supposed to use your um homing torpedoes to hit them uh, to hit the targets your sonar have locked onto. So, we'll have to see how that works in practice. And i also have to see how long you can actually stay submerged for. Because I have no idea. I think there is a limit to how long you can remain submerged for. I don't know what that time limit is. And, um... I also don't know if you have to be submerged to shoot torpedoes. I think you do have to be submerged in order to shoot torpedoes. So, uh, I guess we'll find out as soon as we get into a game, whenever that may be. So, yeah, um, <laughs> uh, it'll be interesting to see. Submarines. Honestly, it doesn't help that submarines start out as such a high tier. Because this means there's no low tier, low stakes battles to try submarines on. I guess ex I guess you could do like co-op versus bots as a way to do a uh, low tier, low risk, low stuff. But it's like, I don't know. I, I, I want to play against players. It Not just because I think it's more interesting for the live stream. I also think that... It just gives you more valuable experience to see how other players play them and to experience playing them against other players. Alright, the enemy submarine. Oh, oh, okay, okay. Required to stay underwater. Restores when the submarine is on the surface. Depth. Ascend is F and dive is C. Dive is C. Okay. Okay, so that's how we dive. Hunter, 
Okay, so my torpedoes are in the front. My sonars can be shot off in any direction without aim. Okay. Okay, so I don't have any primary battery. I only have... I only have a secondary battery, which means, uh... Someone just... I think someone just shot a thing at me. I don't know what that explosion was. Submarine surveillance has a really long cooldown. Oh, jeez. Uh... Let's descend. Okay, we're slowly starting to descend. So if we descend to this depth, it allows us to see the surface. How long can we remain submerged? Oh, okay. This is how long we can. We have one more minute or so. Uh, hydrophones highlight the position. Okay, hydrophones. know where the enemies are. Hi, Shroomer. I'm playing a uh, submarine for the first time. Huh? Ah! Oh, crap. There's the enemy submarine. Okay, so you cannot capture when you're underwater. I see. The submarine is most vulnerable on the surface. <laughs> First time being a sub. Okay, the fact that I can only aim forward with my torpedoes is a pretty difficult situation. I 
I'm not hitting anyone with my sword. Why can I not detect it? Ah, there we go. Finally detected them. Okay, our sword is worth that. Oh god. There's depth charges all around. I should come up for air. <laughs> so Honestly, I'm doing pretty terribly, but that's just because I don't know how to play submarines. <laughs> oh my god. Do you not have headphones in? Oh, I'm glad my team is good because I'm definitely not. Oh, wow. They seriously destroyed that carrier. Okay, uh, I guess I don't, I'm not needed here then. I can go somewhere else. Well done up here, boys. <laughs> I did nothing, Lamal. I've literally not hit a single... <laughs> I've literally not hit a single person so far with my fucking torps. Maybe I should practice in bots after all. I've been a completely useless submarine so far. My mobility is not very high either, actually. But I guess it stands to reason. Submarines are for stealth, not for speed. Screaming. Oh, I have periscope. I have two minutes of air now. I want to get close enough to that battleship to dwarf them. Be <laughs> useless. <laughs> I gotta get close enough to that battleship to dwarf them. I I really want to at least land like a single torpedo. <laughs> okay, let's submerge. Just below the surface. So we don't have to go there. Oh, I have a sonar hit. Let's see if we can get a second one. Yes, two hits. I believe that means our torpedoes will now be going. Okay, so you don't actually have to die to dive to the you just have to dive deep enough. Ooh, ooh. Is it gonna hit? Please hit. Yes! Ah, sonar pink neutralized. Oh shit, I'm detected. I'm gonna go to the Ah! Ah, damn it, he dodged. Well, at least I managed to get one single torpedo hit. <laughs> Be the torpedo. I mean, at least I managed to get one single torpedo hit. That's pretty good for my first time playing a submarine. <laughs> Never played a submarine before. First time experience, one torpedo is an achievement. 
Okay, at least now I have an idea of what to expect. So basically, I need to hit them. I need to make sure I actually aim the sonar at someone. If I just shoot it in their direction, I'm not going to hit them. Once I have the sonar ping, then I can shoot my torps. And... Okay, yeah. <laughs> One single torpedo. I have no idea if my team is gonna win. Uh, I mean, our team's not doing that bad. They're doing pretty well, all things considered. Since we have uh, one carrier over them and uh, one cruiser over them. Ah, sweet and red tea. Let's see, let's see if next game we can do better as a, uh, as a submarine, not as a torpedo. It is a shame though, because we will lose the EXP bonus, but, since we win this game, but, it's whatever. <laughs> I just want experience as a submarine at all. Honestly, the most jarring thing about playing a submarine is the fact that all the torpedo tubes aim directly forward. I mean, that should be, you know, intuitive, right? That's where the torpedo tubes on a submarine are. But I'm so used to playing ships where the torpedo tubes are on the side that it's very jarring to me to have torpedo tubes in the front instead. I think very few ships have that. I think only a few destroyers have that set up. It's a very unusual setup as far as ships go. <laughs> Your torps are so annoying. Cat face and chat. Wow, our team really has the aerial support already. Okay, this Sean Horns is down for sure. Boom. <laughs> One single torpedo. <laughs> Sonar ping neutralized. I'm guessing that means though, once you've hit the torpedo, hit with the torpedo, the sonar will no longer home in on that target. Huh, the chat's actually pretty cooperative and kind right now. That's pretty cool. <laughs> oh yeah, no, one one torpedo hit is definitely better than none. I'm just glad I figured out how this system works at all. <laughs> ah, this Issei is going down. They're under they're under fire by the entire our entire team because they're the only ship visible. Although I suspect that our uh, carriers are gonna be hunting the enemy carriers at this point, just because that's the only other ship left. Carrier players are good. Makes me wish I'm good at playing carriers. <laughs> Unfortunately, I'm very bad at playing carriers. I mean, okay, I really should try to play carriers more. It's just that the carrier gameplay is completely different from every other ship type. The, pl the carrier playstyle is more different from a normal ship than submarines are from normal ships. Because with the carrier playstyle, you don't even like. Most of the time, you're looking at the map rather than at your surroundings. Most of the time you're looking at the map and pinning down where you're going and where to send your planes rather than looking at this kind of view. So it's a very, very different place now. Man, I love the Mari voice pack. Oh, it's 
gonna be hard for these points to like forget. Since the enemy has a lot of aerial security. Ooh, good hit though. Looks like they're losing quite a few points. Uh, but then again, it looks like most everyone is within firing range at this point, so... Aren't there those like, machine gun shots that you can really damage? They seem to be purely cosmetic so far, but they could do damage for all. Nice! Let's see what e how much EXP I get for landing one single torpedo. Yeah. Wow, I got a lot of EXP for doing nothing. <laughs> That's funny. Nice though. I want to try that again. I now that I know what to do with the sonar, I want to try uh, submarining again. Yeah, no, I'm so glad I spent, like, $10 on this voice pack, because it's so good. I <laughs> Marine's voice is so good, and her lines are so funny, too. Ah, the sweetened red tea is really good. <laughs> Spub Marine. Suds Marine. <laughs> Hi, thank you for coming over to the stream. Looks like we just got into a game, so... Let's see if I can do better as a submarine this time. Okay, so everyone's tier 5 or 6. Two hours and 25 minutes of air time. I should expect an enemy submarine in sector A. I have no idea how to do submarine to submarine combat, honestly. Mostly because submarines are very hard to protect. Dolphins. I love the dolphins on this map. <laughs> Submarines are such a fascinating sub type of ship. <laughs> I did not hear about that story. What? How is that happening? <laughs> the sad girl company. <laughs> God, a true dedicated marine fan. That is really funny. Okay, what exactly does this do? Position of ships and submarines on the surface or at periscope depth that are beyond spotting range. Ship position are ascertained the moment. Okay, so this is about... Okay, so this is on the surface. This is only those who are not diving. This is only those who are diving. I see. The sad girl coming. Okay, so that's the difference. I would still be detectable. Oh Jesus, dude, you're about to die. You're dead. Uh, I don't detect anyone. I'm gonna go deeper and see what happens. Yeah.
Yeah, no, submarine technology has changed a lot. Oh, I'm colliding with the fucking seafloor. That's what I'm colliding with. Okay, let's come back up. We need to stop colliding with the seafloor. <laughs> and also, I wouldn't be able to hit that battleship anyway. I'm detected. Oh, crap. Oh, crap. Okay, the, uh, the other uh, submarine player is actually good, which is bad because I'm not good. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna take a dive again. I wanna try to torp that uh, battleship over there. I wonder if you can dodge uh, torpedoes by going underwater. I'm not really sure how that works. Ah, ah. Okay, I need to actually hit them with the bank. Oh, okay, okay. There you are. Can I just shoot you? Without even hitting you with a ping? Aha. Yeah! Oh, okay, I need to come up from here. I'm dangerously close to the enemy. Oh, they're, oh, they're, oh, no, they're still alive. Ah, Axel! Ah, jumped off! Ah! <laughs> I got too close. Yes, I hit. Yay, I made it. I managed to get torpedo hits. <laughs> wow, though, I really need to learn how to combat as submarines good. I get detected so easily and I get wrecked. <laughs> you know, I have no idea how to play submarines effectively. <laughs> Maybe not getting too close to the enemy is the trick. <laughs> yeah, no, that makes sense. I mean, we only have one secondary gun uh, for defense, which does like no damage. We really have to rely on our long range torpedoes to do any damage at all. So, I need to learn how to actually stealth. And another thing is, I need to learn how to aim with a sonar. I don't know how to sonar effectively. But that's probably because uh, I keep doing it from behind an island where we can't detect anything. Anyways, let's return to main menu and play another game while we're waiting for this one to conclude. Oh, never mind. We can just do it right away. It's not like the old days where your ship is unavailable until the game is over. I guess on the upside, submarines are one of those ship types like carriers where not a lot of players play them, so you tend to get into games a little bit more easily than if you choose something like a cruiser or something. 
At least that's my conjecture. I don't actually know. I wonder if I should chew gum right now. I wonder if that would be visible. Not visible. I wonder if that would be audible on my mic. I think that would be a very unwarranted ASMR. <laughs> well, I got a couple of torp hips. Hi torp hits. Not torp hips. So... Let's see if I can do even better this time. Oh god, we have two we have two subs on each team this time. This is the first time I've seen that. Uh oh. <laughs> Let's hope I don't let our, my team down too much. <laughs> Here we go. God, I'm not even familiar with the torps with the uh, fucking submarine strats on this map, so it's gonna be an interesting challenge. <laughs> Strats don't die. Okay, this time I'll actually try to be stealthy. However, I accomplish that. It looks like the maximum air I can have is 2 minutes and 25. Let's try to take refuge behind that island. Or at least, let's try to use that island as cover. Even though... That would kind of block my circle. Okay, no, the, the hard thing is I have to be facing the enemies. But that means dodging laterally is going to be really difficult. <laughs> oh, I died. <laughs> yeah, no, the hard part about having to face the enemy in order to torp them is that it's very hard to get out of the way if they spot me because I can only move forwards and backwards. So it looks like my team is, uh, I don't know what they're doing, but I'm sure they have a strategy. <laughs> Crashing into the seafloor. I do actually wonder if dodging to a certain depth would help avoid torpedoes that are not deep enough, honestly. I never had to think about the depth of the water before. Well, at least our detection range is quite small, so it should be difficult for our enemies to detect us. Okay, I should slow down. Oh crap, I'm spotted. Oh god. Right there. I saw that. Wait, how did you submarine to submarine combat? I am coming back up. I don't want to waste all my air doing nothing.
Oh god, the right side of the map looks really bad. Ah. There you are. Oh, okay, never mind. They're dead already. That's good. I'm glad the enemy uh, submarine has been destroyed. That's gonna give us um, the ability to press forward without having to worry about the enemy. We are losing pretty bad though, so uh, I better hurry. <laughs> Submarines in proximity? What do you mean? Oh. You yeah, know, our, our team is getting destroyed. I need to hurry up and do something. I'm gonna see if I can torp those guys over there. Unfortunately, I think they're outside of sonar range. Uh, what's this do? Ah! No, I, I hit him with the sonar. I need to hit once more with the sonar. Oh, okay, so two of my torps, uh, oh shit, I better go down. I can go down. Okay, so two of my torps, uh, are for underwater use, and two of my torps are for above water use. I see, I see. Yes! I have hit! Yeah! Oh, that's a good salvo! Oh shit, hold on, I'm about to get a charge. Oh, never mind, I don't see the depth charges anymore. One hit. My torpedoes lost their target. No way. Oh god, there's depth charges all around. Axel! Oh crap, my sonar is down. I'm flooding. I'm in a very bad position. Ah. Uh, we have to go down. Fuel spill? What? What's a fuel spill? I've never seen that before. I've never seen a fuel spill before. <laughs> I want to try again. I'm, I'm I'm starting to understand the way I sh hit targets now. So, oh, fuel. Sus oh, so if you get a damaged fuel line, oh, okay. <laughs> Marines spilled oil. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> okay, so basically, don't get hit. Don't die. <laughs> is the trick here. Don't get detected, because once I get, de get detected, it's all over. Why is this such a small team? What map is this? Is this PvP? Yeah, this is PvP. This is a small team. How unusual. 
Okay, I, uh, as a submarine, I seem to do better in open oceans, so I'm gonna try to stick to the open oceans, because in the islands, my sonars can't hit anyone, and it's a lot harder for me to maneuver. I'm gonna try to stick to the open ocean. see if I can. Uh... Oh my god, there's so many battleships in this game. <laughs> yeah, no, yeah, no, it's like open ocean seems to be better for submarines. Oh my god, half of each team is battleships. I hope that means that as a submarine, I'll be able to actually hit someone. I'm going up against the enemy uh, submarine though, which I am very bad at doing and if they know if they at if they know anything about um submarine to submarine combat, I am dead. <laughs> if they know literally anything about submarine to submarine combat, that would be that would be dead. And yeah, no, it's like um I know that battleships uh I know that one reason why submarines were invented to begin with is to deal with like overwhelming um, enemy naval superiority. Since they're very good at stealth, very good at uh, launching secret strikes that devastate heavy ships. So hopefully I can perform good as long as I can get away from the enemy submarine. <laughs> Because I can't deal with enemy submarines if they choose to hit me. Because I don't know how to fight other submarines at all. Mm -hmm. uh, let's see, there's an enemy cruiser over there, enemy battleship, enemy battleship in sight. There we go. They're not within sonar range yet. Oh, okay, so that's where the enemy submarine is. Okay, so their back is turned to me, so I don't need to worry too much. Instead, I need to worry about killing the shit out of that battleship. I need to worry about destroying the crap out of that New Mexico. USS New Mexico. As soon as they're in sonar range, I will start annihilating. Let's start diving. One hit. Oh god, there's even more depth charges. Two hits. No, that's one hit. One, don't lose your target, please. They lost my target. Ah, ah, oh. My corpse hit. I'm in detection range. I need to start turning back, actually. I'm in Alright, torp time. Okay, I really seriously need to start going back. Oh crap, they're right on top of me. That's a depth charge. Ah. Oh crap. Okay, depth charges are extremely deadly. I need to keep that in mind. Depth charges extremely deadly. <laughs> Flooding stopped, but I'm also about to die. Oh, okay, I can. 
Oh, I just noticed. I also have um, torpedoes in the back. I didn't realize this before, but I have torpedoes in the front and the back. So I can actually... I don't have to move towards the enemies. I can also shoot torpedoes when I'm moving away from them. Oh, okay. That's really good to know, actually. Okay, okay. I don't have to face the enemy when I... Hello, Hark. Yeah, no, this is my first time playing submarines, too. Okay, okay. I have torps in the back. I need to take advantage of this. <laughs> yeah, no, it's... It's it's such an interesting thing, because I've gen... This is... Like, to submarine gameplay is so different from everything else. Uh... Yeah. I should turn off, uh, my phone, uh, I should put my phone on silent so it doesn't vibrate while I'm streaming. <laughs> okay, this map has opened oceans, but again, I need to be careful. Okay, bye-bye. Thank you for watching. Okay, once again, I need to stick to open oceans, move away from enemies when appropriate, and remember that I have torps in the back as well as the front. So I can move away from enemies when I torp them. And also, my sonar has a limited time for ping, so I need to make sure that I don't launch my torps when I'm too far away from the enemies. I'm just diving underwater to avoid being detected by planes right now. Getting detected by planes. Oh! I spot the enemy. The submarine. Oh god, there's the enemy submarine. I'm gonna start turning back. If I move forward to too much right now. I'm at risk of getting destroyed. So, like, I need to be smart about... My movements. Ah, no, that uh, no, I have a... Oh, Jesus Christ, that's a lot of corpse. No, I have a four corps in total. I think two of them can, o can only be used when you're uh, not diving, when you're not submerged. Get out of the way, I need to torp them. Alright. I got three Oh crap, I'm protected by the uh, Okay, I'm glad I got some hits without dying myself. Watch out for those torpedoes. Yeah, yeah, no, the way the way the... The way submarines play is basically you have to hit them with the sonar first, 
and then once you have hit them with the sonar uh your torpedoes will automatically lock onto them but only for a limited amount of time so you want to get your ah there you are you want to get your targets to lock on Torping a destroyer is going to be difficult, actually. I have, t I have time. I can sub. I think I should uh, aim to torp these guys instead. You, cruiser. Oh, okay, never mind. I can shoot all four corpses now while I'm in the water. Hi, dolphin. Do I still have? I don't. I think I lost the ping. Yeah, I think they're moving away, which is why I lost the ping. Damn it. Let's try to move closer to the enemy. If there's a chance I can torp the enemy carrier, that would be awesome. Yeah, no, it's like... <laughs> Submarines are uh, both pretty intimidating and also pretty intimidating to play. Looks like that destroyer is going up against that guy. I only have one minute of air left. Can I hit you with my sonar? Yeah! One more, one more, one more. Yeah. One hit, come on. I need to. Okay, I have to hit the exact same place. Where is my sonar ping clear? Why is my sonar ping clear? I wish I understood enough how the sonar works. Okay. Oh, jeez, there you are. Insufficient time for torpedo. That's okay, I still landed some corpse. Oh crap, I'm out of air. Oh crap, oh crap. I'm out of air. Oh, oh shit, I actually destroyed someone. My first kill as a fucking submarine. Okay, I'm out of air. I need to start. Okay, one hit. Ah! Fuel system. Not my fuel system. Why is my system? Oh, Jesus! I didn't see you there! Oh, crap! Ah! Kids! Wait, what'd you just. <laughs> oh, God. I forgot that destroyers are actually very good at destroying submarines. Are those uh, torpedoes gonna hit? <laughs> There's a chance that my torpedo will hit at least one of them. Ah! Ah! Yeah! One hit! I got one torpedo hit! <laughs> Hey, I managed to get one kill. That's better than nothing. <laughs> I still need to figure out how exactly the ping works because I still don't quite understand. I don't know why my pings are getting randomly neutralized. I don't know how that works. Fushun, you're gonna get destroyed. Heading into enemy fog is such a bad idea, man. You're gonna die. 
you're dying so bad, man. Is your engine dead? Or are you just slowing down? There's no point to trying to hide at this point, at this close range, dude. You're better off trying to torp him. But you're dead, so. We have no destroyers left. They have two destroyers and we have two battleships. <laughs> what a matchup, man. What a matchup. Ah, uh, yeah, those are not gonna hit. That destroyer is faster than those torpedoes. Then again, we actually have more points than they do. So who knows? We might still have a chance. Let's stick around and watch. <sighs> Submarines sure are interesting to play. They're s they're, the gameplay is genuinely so different. At this point, how is the game even going to proceed? It looks like our carrier is actually running out of fuel too. There's barely any planes out there. Well, enemy carrier spotted it seems. has a torpedo plane. Also, Issei, in addition to being a battleship, is also a carrier. They have a torpedo plane. I see. Oh. So that's how that works. Wow, that island is on fire. They're really focusing on Issei. Their carrier is almost down though. Their carrier has taken a ton of damage. Fuck! Jesus, Issei is taking so much damage. <laughs> Come on, let's go, let's go. Kill him dead. Zerob, you got this. Oh, okay, their their carrier is going down. Their carrier is so dead. Ah, damn it, they fixed the fire. Oh, oh crap. Okay, enemy enemy destroyer spotted. Our carrier is in trouble. For a battleship to hit a destroyer from this far away is gonna be difficult. But it looks like our carrier is actually managed to torp them. Which is impressive. Carrier against destroyers. Not a very good matchup. It's a very difficult matchup, in fact. Man, this game is ridiculously close. I think this Issei is going down, though. They're taking a lot of damage. And they're not in a good position to engage the enemies. Especially since that destroyer is using that island as cover. Oh, yeah, not a good fight. This might be their end. Yeah, Issei is down. Damn. Come on, you got this. 
Gaede, go down, go down. Yes. Good job, Normandy. That was a really good. Holy crap! Normandy has quadruple guns. Normandy has three quadruple guns. Jesus. Wow, that is some firepower. <laughs> Come on, let's go, Normandy. Kill that destroyer. Normandy still has a lot of health, too, which is good. Naughty, naughty. That's a great name. Crap, their destroyer is using smoke screen. Oh, those are the anti-air guns. I love how you don't actually see anyone uh, on those mounts. But I guess animating little people would be a lot of work. Oh my god, their, their carrier is almost dead. Please just kill their carrier dead. <laughs> god, it would be terrifying to be manning the gun mounts on the fucking ship. Are you kidding me? Oh, you have to be kidding me! <laughs> yeah, no, that's true. If there's people on the ships, they would, they, like, <laughs> yeah, no, that's definitely true. Oh, crap, our carrier's under fire. Oh, War Thunder. I've never played War Thunder before, so... <laughs> Can you finish off that carrier? They're almost dead, man. Okay, yeah, Nor now that Hasahara is in close range, Normandy can definitely finish him off. Especially since the secondary guns are firing now. Oh crap, that's a lot of torps though. Oh god. Ah! Damn! Oh shit. Well, let's see if Serov can pull off the impossible. <laughs> okay, Serov. Let's see if you can finish off a destroyer and a carrier. Crap, man. Can I follow their planes? Ah, I can't follow their planes. There we go. Zero, you got this. Please just fucking kill them. We're so close, man. Ah. Oh, what? Did that squadron get destroyed? Oh, nice! They got it! Holy shit! <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> okay, one destroyer left. One single destroyer. Finding a destroyer in the fucking ocean is gonna be a pain, man. Oh my god. Oh. Okay, never mind. <laughs> Get him, I believe. I love how supportive uh, those that those players are. I'm gonna send a message to you. Haha, that's how to spot it. Um, playing an aircraft carrier is, uh, pretty difficult, honestly. Uh, 
uh, since you have to be tactical on the map and everything, I could demonstrate a game. I'm not very good at it, but I could demonstrate. Oh, that's a lot of games. That's a lot of torpedo ships. I hope our zero all is okay. Come on, bomb them, bomb them. That plane has been on fire for so long, it's still flying for some reason. They sound like bees! Ah, <laughs> oh, crap. Zerov, come on! No! Ah! Wow! Damn! <laughs> They're like bees. Wow, that was such a close game. Damn. But yeah, no, I can show you a game uh, as a carrier. I have a carrier Langley. Let's see. Let's check our equipment. Uh, consumables. Oh, okay, these are on auto. Armament and consumables of aircrafts, high explosive rockets, uh, engine cooling, and then we have uh, HE rocket ship planes, uh, we have uh, torpedo planes, and we have bomber planes. <laughs> they sound like bees. Uh, let's see, let's apply a camouflage. And, uh, yeah, no, let's, let's do it. I'm not very good at, uh, playing, um, carriers, but, you know, I'll show you what it's like. Ah, God, watch me lose all my planes in, like, two seconds. It's interesting, though, because, like, historically, carriers are what obsoleted battleships from the from naval combat because carriers um the, the more te carrier technology developed the more overwhelming they became on the seas and um <laughs> i'm here to see you <laughs> thanks thanks rumor <laughs> i appreciate the vote of confidence <laughs> but yeah no it's like a carrier i i if i remember correctly carriers did kind of obsolete battleships on the open ocean just because planes became the, the better planes became, the harder it became for battleships to function on water. Just because planes are so oppressive. Like, the battleships rely on their, uh, their firepower to eliminate targets in range and to keep enemy ships at bay. But the thing is, planes can just kind of fly over into close range, which kind of obsoletes the battleship's advantage. So eventually, they just had to retire battleships altogether because battleships takes a ton of resources to build, but they can just get destroyed by planes pretty easily. So it's why in modern naval warfare, battleships aren't used anymore. Nowadays, it's more um, cruisers. Nowadays, I think it is mostly cruisers and destroyers. And of course, drones too. Drones, carriers, cruisers etc all right let's see oh yeah and also another reason why uh, battleships got obsolete is because battleships uh one of the big functions is actually port bombardment that is a lot of bots are you kidding me <laughs> like one re uh, one purpose of um one two three take off press the squadron key let f uh, enable attack mode press again to attack via the tactical map. But yeah, one re but yeah, that's why um, they kinda got obsoleted. And also it's because like the purpose of battleships is to uh, bombard enemy shorelines and ports. But the thing is um, planes can do that too. Oh wow what? 
I can do that? Oh my god, hold on, hold on. I need to navigate. Oh, can I only... Can I only send out one plane at once? Oh! So they actually have you control the planes this time. Oh, interesting. Okay, this is very different from what I remember. Oh god, I'm getting shot at. Oh god, I'm getting shot at. I'm getting destroyed. There goes that squadron. Okay, they, they changed it a lot from how from what the gameplay was like back then. Go back Let's go over here. We have to hide away from the enemies. Alright, these are bomber planes. I need to do something about that because my team is going to be destroyed. Wow, that is a very weird range. Uh, let's try that again. I didn't do that right. I am not used to bombers. Uh, three, two, one. Okay, return, return, return. Um, let's try these guys. Excuse me, let's try this guy again. <laughs> we have two planes here. Oh wow, okay, these guys cannot go very really fast. I, I fucking barely did anything this game. <laughs> Let's try to missile that Arkansas. I 
I really should go after their um, aircraft carrier, honestly. Bombers? Yes, I finally hit! But yeah, the battleships are the easiest targets to hit because they're much slower and less mobile. Okay, the missile ships appear to have uh, engines that overheat really easily. Whereas all the other uh, have much better engine durability, it seems. Wow, this is very different from how I remember the, the carrier gameplay, honestly. Get over there. I need to go deal with that. That cruiser is going to be wrong. Let's try the bombers again. I'm not very good at aiming with the bombers, but let's try them again. We got a bomb. Honestly, I should be going after their carriers. That cruiser's not good. Let's try to hit these guys instead. Now! Damn it! Terrible performance. I am not very good at this. Oh, wait, I didn't mean to recall them. Okay, I guess we're doing both. Yeah, God, I hardly did anything this game. Uh, let's move over there. Uh, their battleship is actually positioned in a very disadvantageous position for me because their battleship battleships have good anti-air, and the thing is, if their battleships are right between me and their carrier. Uh, pretty bad for me. Huh. Let's try to look. Let's get it. Let's try to get broadside with them. If I can get broadside with them, I can get a good torque hit. One bomber. Oh, your ships replenish. I mean, not your ships. Your planes replenish. That was not a thing in the original. Back when I first played carriers, if you lose all your planes, you're just a sitting duck. It looks like now they actually made it so your planes do in fact replenish. Interesting. 
I please get visuals on the carrier. I need visuals on them. Where are they? There they are. I finally have visuals. Buddy, you are so dead. I'm gonna kill the shit out of you. Ah! Not even fighters. Okay, return. Yes! I got a tour pit on their carrier. Okay, that's cool. I didn't realize that your planes actually replenish over time now. That's a massive improvement. Okay, now that I know that, maybe I should play uh, carriers more often. They made, they made the carriers a lot more interesting. Alright, let's see if we can hit this battleship with our missiles. Now. Yes! That's a hit. Wow, missile ships, uh... Missile ships are powerful, but... They're also not very, uh... Durable. Let's try to get one more hit off of it. Before we recall these planes. I keep saying ships. These are missile planes, not missile ships. I'm so used to playing ships that I keep calling these guys ships instead of planes. Yes. Okay. Yeah. The the uh, the the guns are just the uh, are just cosmetic. The actual hit is the missiles that come out. All right, bomber planes. We need to we need to go damage that battleship. We need to go damage that. Camera. <laughs> They're airships. <laughs> That's one way to call planes. <laughs> These are biplanes, dude. These are like old, old fashioned planes. <laughs> All right. Oh, okay. I just noticed that these uh, planes actually go in the direction your mouse points. Oh crap! That's where the battleship is gone. Crap! Arkansas is gonna chase me down. I need to go bomb for the Arkansas. Now! What? Dude! Terrible performance, terrible. Let's try that again. Now! Are you kidding me? Come oh, on, man, stop missing, please. Now! There we go! Return to ship. Alright. Torpedo ships, let's go. Fuck! Torpedo planes, let's go! Okay, looks like, uh, plane squadrons have three hits they can use before they have to leave. So I need to make full use of that. <sighs> Good heavens. Looks like our battleship, Wyoming, is also close on the enemy line. So right now it's battleship against carriers. I'm trying to 
dodge already. God damn it, why'd you guys shoot it off in the Okay. That is not gonna That is not gonna hit. Oh, that is not definitely. Oh, okay, so you can actually wait to Try to aim more effectively. Yes, that's actually gonna hit. I hope. Damn it, that didn't. Hit. You have to be kidding me. Ah, wait, I didn't mean to do that. Whatever. I didn't mean to immediately send them back. Take it back. Oh, our teammate actually destroyed the enemy carrier. That's good. So now it's just me against this battleship. Hold on, that's uh. Alright, Arkansas, it's you and me. I'm doing so bad, but I'll do my best. One, two, three, now! Yes! That's a hit. I feel like my planes have not been shot at. Uh, we're not close enough. Now! Damn. Missed. And now. And one, two, three. Now! Alright, return to ship. Try that again. Yeah, missile planes don't they have very weak engines. I wonder if it's because they're carrying such heavy payloads. What? Those shots did nothing. I will say they made the changes they made to um, carrier gameplay is actually really good because now you can actually aim manually at your targets. Before you only you were only able to set your uh, planes on auto, which made it really hard to aim. Oh, I just lost the game. Okay, okay. But yeah, the way planes used to work, you you could only issue the orders. You couldn't aim with them manually like this. So it, it was very hard to actually hit anybody planes back in the days. Okay, we win. <laughs> I did not do very well there, but hey, a, a victory is a victory. <laughs> I'll fucking take it. That reminds me, I want to. I don't know why I sold the Japanese uh, battleship. Uh, 
aircraft carrier, but I kind of want the Japanese aircraft carrier now. Let's, um... Let's buy an additional port slot so I can actually do that. I have leftover premium currency from when I bought Marine Voice Pack, so I can afford to buy another port slot so I can buy the Japanese uh, carrier. Where art thou? Hosho, once again. With commander. Uh, yes, with commander. <laughs> yeah, no, devs improved the gameplay. They really did. Let's see. Preparation time. Uh, engine cooling. Squadron engine boost. Completely restores engine boost. For the last attack fight. I'll go with prep time. Torpedo arming distance. Torpedo aerial torpedo speed. Squadron speed. I like squadron speed. AP rocket damage. AP. Aircraft aiming speed. Continuous AA reduction. HP increase for each ship tier. Yes, I want my ships to survive better. Alright, Hosho. Let's see your equipment. Yeah, see, there's still leftover uh, EXP and stuff from the last time I played uh, Hosho. Hosho has attack aircraft, torpedo bombers, and AP bombers. So these AP shells, they use AP shells instead of HE shells, which means they do more damage against, um, against the battleships and stuff rather than um, light targets. Yes, Hosho Marine Real. <laughs> Let's play ho the the Hosho Marine. Aircraft carriers. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's a funny way to say that because in Chinese they're called Hankong Mujian, which literally means like aircraft mothership. Mujian literally means mothership. So yeah, they are the MILFs of uh, warships because they're literally motherships. <laughs> How are there so many aircraft carriers in queue? <laughs> Mommy, <laughs> God. <laughs> All right, let's see. We're up against a Langley, and there's plenty of human players. Can I queue up my movement already? God, that, all, that autopilot pathing. Autopilot is important for carriers because you can't. Holy moly, real people! Alright, let's go. You know, autopilot is important for aircraft carriers. You can't be manually controlling your, uh, your ship when you're controlling the planes. You need autopilot. All right, let's go bomb some enemies. The enemies have a similar thought as me. Where are the enemies? Reveal thyself. Oh crap, I'm getting shot at. Oh Jesus. Oh crap, that's a lot of enemies shooting at me. Yo! 
Ah, I missed. Oh god, I'm right in the middle of all the enemies. Oh shit. <laughs> that was a bad use of my planes. Alright, torpedo Torpedo ships, here we go. So much anti-air. Oh, okay, never mind. We got this one. Ah, we also got destroyed. All right, let's go, bombers. Two of the bots just rammed each other. <laughs> God, bots are so dumb. All oh, right, these are AP bombs, so I should be seeking out high armor targets. Instead of low armor targets. <laughs> God, underwear. God. That's a great way to participate in chat. Alright, tier peace. Ow. Yes. Those are two hits. Penetrations. Alright, let's circle back around. If we keep pressing onwards, uh, we'll be met with a heavy anti-air resistance. So it's better if we... Okay, never mind. Two pieces there. Let's move towards the enemy. Alright, New York. Now! Ah, damn. That's a miss. Um. I've done almost no damage this game. This is pathetic. Let's go go let's go after the Carl's who uh, They're pretty isolated, so. Man, their their carrier is getting kills. I'm doing nothing. <laughs> I need to do better than this. Oh wow, that car was really good with that. They might not even last long enough. Yeah, okay. Let's go after someone else. What color are my panties right now? They are blue. <laughs> oh wow. My teammates are doing so well that I feel out of Uh, I'm gonna move over here. Over here. Alright, let's go after the aircraft. <laughs> ah, yes! 
I actually managed to do some damage. Oh crap, my plates are getting shot down. I mean, at least we're winning, but wow, I feel useless. <laughs> I barely did anything. Whatever. <laughs> oh my god, that emoji. <laughs> that emote, sorry. Not emoji. Different, different things. Is that person called D-Nuts? I'm shooting towards one at a time. <laughs> Victory where I barely did anything. <laughs> wow, I'm not very good at being a carrier. But if, as, as long as we didn't lose, then I guess it's totally fine. <laughs> very undeserving wins. That's so funny. Let's see. Uh, let's play a regular game. We've been playing very unusual ship types that I'm not familiar with. Let's play a more usual ship type that I'm used to. Hehehehe. <laughs> Ah, god. This tea is so tasty. I should really buy this tea more often. We are Tier 6 American Cruiser Pensacola. Or as we like to call it, Pepsi Cola. Looks like we got a depth charge of strike, huh? There is a submarine in this game, and I am likely gonna be going up against it, so I should be prepared to use my depth charge when necessary. <laughs> if, you're if you're curious about what a depth charge is, it's basically a bomb they drop into the water that like explodes into shrapnel. Normally, it does absolutely nothing to most ships because most ships, uh, because de uh, depth charges are very close range, and they generally don't do a whole lot to uh, normal ships. But against submarines, it absolutely shreds the fuck out of their armor and their hull. Like depth charges absolutely destroy submarines. God, is our fucking submarine AFK? I think our submarine is AFK. That's great. 
あ、オッケーあーじゃあ頑張るぞ分からせてやるはーい<笑> Yeah, our, our submarine is AFK <笑>あ、oh, no, they're starting to move, I think. Or that might just be me who's moving. あ、oh, no, they are moving, they are moving. Be surprised to find them out here. I, mean, I will have to be prudent. Okay, they have lost sight of me. Ah, there's the enemy、uh, submarine. So that's where they are. Hydrocaustic search active. Submarine is nowhere in sight. However, I'm gonna start turning around. I don't want to charge head first into a bunch of battleships. I would not be wise. Alright, dude. Well, my hydrocaustic search is not finding me yet. So. Oh crap, I'm getting shot at. Oh, okay. Looks like I did manage to hit with the depth charge though. Okay, at least I managed to land the depth charge. <laughs> okay, now, okay, now I understand how to use depth charges. I did not know how to use depth charges before.
try to shoot at the submarine while they're underwater? I don't think that works. I think you need depth charges. Oh yeah, it is. It's capsized. Ooh, yeah, those were depth charges. Okay, let's go play another game. <sighs> let's see here. Minikaze. Oh, Minikaze can do one more. Uh, let's see. Torpedo. Japanese destroyers are better with their torpedoes than they are with their guns. Let's go, Minikaze. Ah. <laughs> All right, here we go. Let's go beat some people up with our torpedoes. Hold on, it's getting really warm in here. I'm going to take off my pants. Wow, that is almost all bots. And maybe not almost all. That's a lot of bots, though. Okay. I'm wearing my... Uh, I'm still in pajamas, honestly. When On days when I don't have to go out, I'm pretty much always in my pajamas. Let's see. We also have a depth charge. Enemy mines? What enemy mines? What enemy mines? Are mines a thing? I have no idea. Pantsless. <laughs> Alright, let's go. Let's try to capture uh, uh, base A. Once we have captured base A, Do our best. Got that as well. Ah, enemy spotted. Corvette. Corvette. Kerbal Space Program. Danai Kuma. That's a lot of ships. I really Destroyer spotted. me with those torps. Okay, that. Oh 
Oh crap, I'm right next to a cruiser. Oh god, it's Kuma. How did I not notice you? Okay, good. Come on down. Let's take down that Corbe Corvette. Kerbal Space Program. Let's just stay in this place and burn for a while. Our engine is dead anyways. <sighs> I'll just I'll just the fire and nah, let's get fixed. <sighs> yeah, let's let's just stay here and capture the space. <laughs> We're so beaten up, man. All right, we gotta go fight that Nicholas. Nicholas the Dickless. Oh, that's what that. I see, I see. All right, forward. This is it. We got enemies to destroy. I believe we can do it. I just have to not die. As long as I can refrain from dying, I should be fine. We lost this one. Unfortunate. Oh, nice shot, New York. I think this game's over, though. Turn to port. Oh, Pensacola won. Nice. Battle rewards. Ooh. Flying Dutchman. All right. Let's play Japanese destroyer Akatsuki. This is a tier seven destroyer, so this is gonna be a very high tier game. That also means that it's also gonna be a very difficult game. So let's get it. <laughs> I need a drink of water. My, th my th throat has been sore all morning. Well, it's the late afternoon now, but you get what I mean. Yeah, I, I really gotta hydrate. Alright, Japanese destroyer Akatsuki. We 
we've got torpedo tubes. Three of them. We got three, uh... Oh yeah, I forgot. We actually have really good guns. We have, um... Okay, so we have triple torpedo tubes and we have double guns. And we should be careful about area B. Oh god. There's a lot of destroyers in this game, which is kind of scary. You know, I should actually do a rehydrate, uh, redeem. A lot of people seem to have that. I should also do a posture redeem, stuff like that, basic stuff. I wonder what kind of redeems I should also do. Oh my god. Enemy destroyer spotted. Oh crap, I need to disable my second my aircraft for anti-air guns. This is why I need to I should have disabled my anti-air guns. Getting spotted is very bad. I need to remember to disable my anti-air guns the next time I play as a destroyer. Alright, Minekaze, let's go. God, I hope I don't have a cold. It would suck if I had a cold. <laughs> Spit in my mouth redeem when I have a cold to transmit the disease. <laughs> the bug chaser in the <laughs> And then again, some people would be into that. Oh my god, stop. <laughs> oh my god, what? This game is full of destroyers and battleships. <laughs> Alright, here we go. As a destroyer, I need to avoid the open ocean. If I get into the open ocean, it'll be very bad. I need to head towards this point C and try to hide behind smokescreen and also islands. And again, avoid the open ocean. Because there's no cover in the open ocean.
しないでください。マリンズライトは本当に。The enemies are all going to the open ocean, so I need to take refuge in. Enemy spotted. Enemy Yudachi. Enemy destroyers. Hill and Yudachi spotted. I best be prudent. Disadvantageous position. Yep, the enemies are here. I need to pull back. Yudachi's down. Ah, 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 the enemy destroyers are definitely in that giant Ah, hold on, I'm gonna hit land. Yeah, no, this, this game is a boat FPS. I'm stuck on land. Okay, I'm, I've been unstuck now. We really need to get cap capture C, though. I need to move closer. Ugh. Yeah, no, this is... Ship. I also like to call this a MOBA because it very much feels like one. <laughs> it's like ship MOBA. It is nice to know that I'm getting cover fire from my teammates at least. I appreciate cover fire. And I'm currently undetected, which is nice.
However, I would love to know where the enemy ship is. They gotta be in that smoke screen. Ah, there you are. Well, at least I, I forced Hill out of the smoke screen, and now it looks like Hill is almost down. I'm glad my teammates are actually pulling through. <laughs> yes, nice. Wow, though I didn't do a whole lot of damage, but destroyers are support after all. So as long as my team can win, that's totally fine. <laughs> You know, it looks like my team is actually... Hi. You know, it's like a, our, our team is actually doing really well in taking down the enemies right now. <laughs> like, they're really coordinating their fire, and I'm, I'm actually pretty impressed. That's the teamwork I'm not used to seeing. <laughs> You know, I'm the only one who's dead. Uh, I'm actually kind of impressed. Pepsi, take over my side. Oh, there's someone called Pepsi. Okay, who is that destroyer and why do they have so many torps? Tashkent? Tashkent, how do you have like a bajillion torpedoes? That is so many torpedoes, man. Oh, that Budyoni is so down. It's magic. Magic torps. Oh, they are so dead. Dead. Wow. Wow, I'm still the only one dead. This team is really good. I got really lucky with this team. Jesus. I have some tough gummies. They're really good. These are grape flavored. Tough gummies are these Japanese gummies that are really chewy. Can you hear me chewing on the mic? Maybe I should chew closer then. <laughs> RD is so good, I got nothing to shoot at. Can you hear me now? <laughs> All right. It's 
play... Let's play Alba. Japanese Cruiser Alba, Tier 6. <laughs> oh my god, Shroomer. <laughs> I should learn how to do that ASMR. I have to experiment on my own sometimes to see if I can make a good spitting sound on mic without actually spitting. Because a lot of ASMR is really just voice acting and sound effects specialist. And the trick is, is to figure out how to make sounds without actually doing the actions. God, these gummies are so good. I might take a break soon with this stream because um, I plan on streaming Warcraft 3 tonight. So I gotta make sure I have enough uh, break in between streams. And also I really gotta pee. <laughs> so I think after... I think after this game I might take a break. Assuming this game ever starts. <laughs> Do it for real, but it, yeah, no, I could do that. Honestly, I I could genuinely do that. It's a prop I would have to be prepared, but like, it is a thing I could do. I could keep a spit cup. That would definitely make the sound effect viable. Ah, everyone's tier five and six. All players this time, no bots. All right, here we go. This looks like one dangerous ass map. I think I have to head towards the middle. Cause if I'm in the open ocean, I have no cover. We have no destroyers this time. I just realized that. We have no destroyers. Yeah, I'm gonna head towards- I'm gonna take cover behind the islands. Looks like my teammates don't have the same idea though. How would I do that? Like that? I don't know. I don't know how to clap without being too loud on mic. I don't want to blow up my mic. I know how to do acting slaps. I've done it before on, uh, in the uh, acting and stuff. But like, I don't know how to make a good sound effect for that on mic. No, it, it just means like making a sound that's too loud on mic. It hurts to hear and everything. Now we have depth charges, but we literally don't need that this time. What we do need is to be careful because it looks like everyone's being defensive, which is good. It's good to be prudent. But also means that if I go in, I'll probably get annihilated.
Okay, enemy spotted. Arizona. Okay, I'm gonna start turning back. I wanna stay behind cover. I doubt it's gonna hit anything, but I might as well send it out while I have the opportunity. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. button I'm using things we literally don't need right now I'm playing pretty defensively right now shells I destroyed them. Nice. I forgot how strong Budioni's firepower is. My torps would 100% not hit in this situation. Ah! Ah! Damn it. 
Ah, oh, there I go. Man, we have not captured a single base. What is up with that? You guys gotta destroy him. I like how my damage counter is still going up just because I lit someone on fire. <laughs> Man, our team is gonna lose by points just because no one's capturing any bases. <laughs> Oh, Jesus. <laughs> I'm using some surveillance. Yeah, I don't think we're gonna win. They're so far ahead in points. There's a lot of fire. Look at that anti-air fire. Well, at least our carrier is actually doing a lot of heavy lifting here. <laughs> oh god, this side is a disaster. What are you guys doing? Oh, Jesus. Guys, we're losing so bad. I mean, imagine if they. I wonder if there's kamikaze planes in this game. Where you can have planes just dive bomb the enemy. <laughs> you know, because our team has not been capturing bases, there's. Their score is way ahead of ours. So unless we can destroy all of their ships, we're not going to win.
And considering how in this shape in which our ally ships are in, I think we're about to lose. Which is unfortunate. Koenig is going down though. Koenig's out here with zero support, so it's no surprise that they would go down. I just noticed when that plane went down, there's a so the, the pilot ejected via a parachute that landed in the water. That's a that's a detail I've never noticed. A little late for that, man. A little late for that. <laughs> That's what we should have done 10 minutes ago. At this point, it doesn't really matter anymore because the enemy score is so high. Carrier is also not making an escape to move. It's not also not making an attempt to move out of the way, so they will be destroyed shortly. But not before we lose by points, because the enemy almost has a thousand points. Research our weapon sy system to have better firing range. So let's do that. Having better firing range would be good for a gunship like Alba. And also, apparently, we have rates. Open 
all containers. We got coal. I don't know what coal is for. Let's see, how's our campaign missions? 24 destroyed missions can be completed. Okay, so I have to destroy 24 ships. Earn 753 EXP in one battle. I'm not gonna- I don't know how that I'm gonna be able to accomplish that. <laughs> That's a very difficult tall order. Uh, Lunar New Year stuff. I'm not spending that money. I'm not spending that amount of money, buddy. Uh, cool. Steel. Pukons. think that is it for today's war world of worship stream god that would be so cool if you could have anime girl uh, skins on your vehicles there are anime girl ships like the arpeggio girls but they don't actually appear on the ships themselves they're just the commanders but like they do exist Yeah, <laughs> that's <laughs> all right. That's it for this stream. Thank you for watching. Bye bye.